Well, hello and welcome to the Bear Monkey Show. My name is Alex, and before I get into today's topic, I just wanted to say a very special thank you to all my subscribers because yesterday I finally reached 10,000 subscribers. And I know there are other channels out there with hundreds of thousands, millions of subscribers, but for me, 10,000 is a big deal. So from the bottom of my heart, a very special thank you to every one of you. I appreciate you all. And if you've been watching me for quite a while and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay, today we're going to be talking about SEO and actually today marks the first day of what I like to call the five part series covering SEO. So starting today for the next five days, I will be uploading one tutorial per day that will cover a topic related to SEO. Now, SEO is divided broadly into two categories. We have content optimization, where we focus on keywords, uh, linking, stuff like that. But then we also have technical optimization, where we'll focus on how we can improve the speeds of our websites, because speed is very, very important for SEO. So today, I will be covering a topic related to content optimization. Now, let me ask you this question, all right? How do you ensure that your article or your link stays on the first page of Google? You see, this is a question most people never ask. Most people are always interested in how do I get on the first page of Google? How do I get on the first page of Google? Okay, fine. We already kind of know the formula for getting on the first page of Google, content optimization, keywords, stuff like that. But the question right now is, once your article or your post is on the first page of Google, how do you ensure that it stays on the first page of Google? Because keep in mind, there are other people out there with articles, posts, who want to take your spot on the first page of Google. So getting on the first page of Google is only half the battle. The remaining half of the battle is staying on the first page of Google. And this is a question most people never ask. So today, I will be covering specifically how Google determines whether or not your article should stay on the first page of Google. And then I will have a second presentation that will focus on a tip on how you can not only get on the first page of Google, but also stay on the first page of Google. So I hope you're excited. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Before we begin talking about how we can optimize our content on the website for SEO, it is important to understand how Google in particular ranks our content. What are the factors Google actually uses? Now, have you ever heard of Rank Brain before? Well, if you haven't, it's basically a machine learning system that helps Google sort the search results. Basically, in other words, it evaluates how people interact with the search results that they see on Google. Now, when it comes to evaluating a search result, RankBrain uses two very important factors. One is the dwell time. The second is the click-through rates, the CTRs. Now, dwell time, as the name suggests, is basically the amount of time people spend reading a particular article. And it goes without saying that the more time spent, the better. It basically means that the more time someone spends reading your content, it just means that the person enjoys the content. Either it's very engaging or it's very, very exhaustive. There's lots of facts, so the user is engaged. Now, just for your information, the average dwell time for a top 10 search result is about 3 minutes and 10 seconds. So if you can write articles that can keep your readers engaged for at least three minutes, 10 seconds, then you are all good to go. Now, click-through rates basically determines how often or how frequently people click on the titles of your headlines. Now, if more people are clicking on your titles, this simply means that your titles are engaging. So to summarize this, powerful headlines and engaging content. These two are the single most important factors that Google uses when it comes to determining where to position your content on its search results. Now, there are other factors as well, such as the speed of your site, security, how optimized your content actually is, talking about keywords and so on, responsiveness, does your website look good on mobile devices, and so on and so forth. So we'll be taking a look at 
all these factors as we progress throughout this course. But for now, in creating engaging content and of course creating powerful headlines, that's gonna be our focus for the next few videos. So I hope you enjoyed that presentation on Rank Brain. We now know what Rank Brain is and we also know that Rank Brain loves it when people actually click on your titles. So with that in mind, how do we actually ensure that people click on our titles? In other words, how do we maximize our click-through rates? So I've already prepared a second presentation for you that will focus specifically on this. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy this presentation on how to maximize your click-through rates. Let's talk about boosting your click-through rates by crafting some very powerful headlines. Now, this is, of course, extremely important because it doesn't matter if you've written like the greatest article of all time. If the title isn't captivating, if it's not eye-catching, no one's going to read your article. And this is why we need to craft powerful headlines to boost our click-through rates. Now, tip number one here is do not go keyword heavy. This would be great for SEO, but it's not going to be great for human beings. Take a look at some examples right here. We've got WordPress SEO, WordPress SEO for 2020. Again, this is great for the keywords WordPress SEO, but a human being will look at the title and would be like, okay, what exactly is this article about? Now, you've got the next one, big data. What is big data? Again, it's keyword optimized, but it doesn't really convey any sort of emotion with the reader, right? You've got Instagram marketing, beginner's guide to Instagram marketing. Now, that's a fairly decent headline, but we can do much, much better than this. The main thing here is you want to get emotional with your titles. Emotionally charged titles can dramatically increase your click-through rates. Take a look at this. We'll talk about words like joy, anger, fear, optimism, love, rage, discuss, vigilance, surprise, amazement. You want to use words that convey emotions like this. Here's an example, okay? Take a look at the very first title, WordPress SEO. 10 tips to boost your SEO ranking. Now, this is actually a pretty good title, but take a look at the next one. Need to boost your SEO ranking? Discover these 10 amazing tips. Now, which one of these two do you think is more captivating? Obviously, it's gonna be the second one because of two keywords right there. One is discover and then amazing. Discover, it paints a picture in the mind of the reader like, oh, I'm going on this journey, I'm going to discover 10 amazing tips. Those two words right there add so much more emotion to the title. Now, the next tip here is you wanna use action or power words in your titles. Words like discover, learn, determine, proven, amazing, secret, instant, premium. You wanna use these kinds of words in your titles. Also, use numbers. This is very, very important because research has shown that when you include numbers in your titles, it can boost your click-through rates by as high as 36%. Now, that is a lot. Take a look at this example, all right? We've got how to easily improve your website loading speed. Again, that's a pretty good title, but take a look at the modification. 15 hacks to improve your website speed like lightning. Again, which of these two do you think is better? Obviously, it's the second one, because now we have a number, 15. It's very direct. It tells the reader that, hey, when you read this article, you're gonna discover 15 hacks. And again, to improve your website speed like lightning. Lightning, you know, thunder, it, it creates emotion in the person reading your title. Now, here is the proven headline template for your titles. Your titles should satisfy these four criteria. Criteria number one would be the format. Okay, is the title, is it gonna be a list? Is it gonna contain strategies? Is it a quiz? Is it an infographic? It has to have an emotional hook as well. Words like amazing, shocking, powerful, proven. And then the content type. What does this article contain? Does it contain images? Or is it gonna be codes or facts or strategies? And then you have the actual subject. It could be speed. It could be everyone's favorite uh, internet topic, cats. <laughs> it could be economics. It could be Instagram. If your headline 
satisfies these four criteria, you are all set. Let's take a look at some examples, all right? Seven ways to skyrocket your Instagram follower account. You've got the number right there, seven. You've got the strategy or the content, which is ways. You've got the emotional hook, skyrocket. Ooh, skyrocket. And then the subject, Instagram follower account. Detail for the second title, feeling lonely. Right there, that is the emotional hook. This article is for people who are feeling lonely. 10, again, the number, simple strategies, which is the content, to meet awesome people, which is the subject. Let's take a look at title number three, 16 hacks to dramatically increase your website speed. Again, you can see we have a number 16, we've got the content, which is hacks, and then we've got the emotional hook, dramatically increase, ooh, drama, and then the topic, which is website speed. Now take a look at the final two titles. You're not gonna lose weight, find out why. 16 million Americans are broke, this is why. Now, if you pay close attention, you will notice that the word why appears in both titles. And I'm gonna tell you why this is extremely important. But before I do that, enjoy this very, very short clip from the movie, Tomorrow Never Dies. When I was 16, I went to work for a newspaper in Hong Kong. It was a rag, but the editor taught me one important lesson. The key to a great story is not who, or what, or when, but why. Okay, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that very short clip from the James Bond movie, uh, Tomorrow Never Dies. Now, the reason why I played you that clip is because uh, the bad guy, Elliot Carver, he said something very, very important. He said that the key to a great story is not who, when, how, or where, but why. Why is an extremely powerful question. If there is any way how you can craft your title to include the word why, go for it. Take a look at this. You're not going to lose weight. Find out why. Another way that I could have crafted this title would have been something like uh, 16 ways to lose weight, right? That works. But take a look at this. You're saying you're not going to lose weight. Find out why. That why there is very powerful. It's shocking. I also deliberately chose this title because I wanted to let you know that not every article you're going to write will contain a number. Okay? Sometimes you just you're just gonna write an article that would not contain numbers or strategies, but basically just like a simple fact or just a, a story as an example, right? In that case, you want to go with a very powerful, shocking statement. You're not going to lose weight. Anyone who's remotely interested in losing weight will see this article, this headline, and will be like, what? I'm going to click on this article to find out why I'm not going to lose weight. Look at the next one. 16 million Americans are broke. This is why. In full disclosure, I don't know if 16 million Americans are actually broke. I sincerely hope not. But you get the idea here, right? That's a shocking fact. 16 million Americans are broke. This is why. So whenever you're going to have to craft a headline that contains like a question or something like that, try to frame it in such a way that you would include the word why. It's such a powerful, powerful word. So just a quick recap. Again, use powerful words, action words. Use numbers. Don't go keyword heavy. And of course, make sure you try to include some sort of uh, emotional hook in your title. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on how to dramatically increase your click-through rates. Well, that's it. We've come to the end of today's tutorial. And I hope you found it useful because we covered what Rank Brain is, but we also covered exactly how you can maximize your click-through rates by writing powerful headlines. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer as many as I can. And of course, if you know of anyone who might find this video useful, be sure to share the video with them. Don't forget, tomorrow is day two. I will be uploading another tutorial that will focus this time on speed optimization. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.